So hi out there in Diamond Painting Land. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Tuesday, August 4th at approximately 8.51 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today with an unbagging. So I have this package here. You can see it's got the Amazon smile on it. It came from Amazon. And it is a diamond painting. So a little bit of background on this diamond painting first before I go, I switch camera angles and do the whole unbacking thing. Um, I was watching a um, YouTube video on Sunday, Sunday early afternoon from um, Crafting with Anne. I will put a link to her YouTube channel down below and the YouTube video where she unboxes this um, mystery diamond painting kit that she got. Um, I went to Amazon I used I think I used her affiliate link but I went to the Amazon page for the um for the diamond painting that she ordered and I actually did order one so um I have my diamond painting log sheet here that I have filled out for you um I just filled it out just now so this is a mystery diamond painting kit ordered from the um I believe it's yo-yo craft um on Amazon and it's a cat eared or catered or I don't know how how you how they spell it but it's capital C this is all capital letters C A T E A R E D cat eared I don't know if it's cat eared or catered or however they pronounce it but um it is a mystery diamond painting kit um it didn't say how big it was supposed to be but this diamond painting kit um, has something special with it. Not only do you get the diamond painting with the, um, the bags of drills and your boat, but your wax is supposed to come in a little macaroon, um, wax holder, which I have never owned. And I was hoping to get one at some point. So that should be exciting. And it apparently also comes with an acrylic drill pen, just randomly, the colors randomly selected for your kit. So hopefully, <laughs> The drill pin and the macaroon wax pot alone will kind of make the um, price of the diamond painting worth it. So I just checked the Amazon link for this diamond painting and it's currently listed in Amazon as out of stock. So I will put the Amazon link below for you to the diamond painting listing as well. But it, Amazon does have it listed as out of stock. And I happened upon another um, YouTube channel when I was looking up... Um, information for this video for you tonight. This kit was also opened up by a YouTuber called Crafts with Crashly. And I will put her YouTube YouTube channel link below for you as well. She did an unboxing of this. Um, she kind of says that she was disappointed in her kit. Um, I didn't watch her full video. I just watched the intro of it a little bit. And um, so she can kind of, you know, you can watch her channel and kind of get your idea too. She ordered hers off of the Etsy site. The company is Yo-Yo Craft by July. That's Y-O-Y-O-C-R-A-F-T-B-Y-J-U-L-Y. Yo-Yo Craft by July. She ordered hers off of their Etsy site and it's listed as $26.99, um, which is what it's listed on Amazon. Um, I have Amazon Prime. I paid $2.02 .02 in tax or shipping, and the, the total bill was $29.01. I ordered this Sunday, August 2nd. Uh, it was shipped yesterday, and it arrived at my husband's work today, August 4th. Two-day turnaround time on the um, Amazon shipping for this diamond painting. So, I this is how it came. Um, it is in a padded... Amazon Prime wrapper. You can see the shape of the box in here. Um, it did not disclose the size of the diamond painting, so we shall get into it and I will figure that out in the video. So I am actually going to switch to my other video so you can get the uh, bird's eye view of um, me unboxing or unbagging my mystery diamond painting from uh, Yo-Yo Craft on Amazon. And uh, we will get to it momentarily, all right? So how out there in Diamond Painting Land again, this is me. I'm back with the unbagging of the uh, Yo-Yo Craft Catered Cat-Eared Mystery Diamond Painting Kit I ordered off of Amazon. So here is here is the packaging, the outside packaging. It came in this padded envelope, and you can see it's got the Amazon smile on it. Um, let me 
grab a pair of scissors. Maybe I can just tear it open here. Yep. So, coming out of the box, it is... There is nothing else in there. There is nothing else in the Amazon bag. So, it is wrapped up in this. As you can see um, here, it is labeled as the cat-eared mystery diamond painting kit. Maybe you can't see that. Cat ear Ministry Dumb and Penny Kit. It's not wanting to um, focus. So I will go ahead and give this a cut open. It is in a box, which is good. So we shall see. Kind of excited for this. Um, you may have been watching my um, time lapse video of the June Diamond Painting Obsession Mystery Diamond Painting. So, all right. Make sure there's nothing else in the bag. There's nothing else in the bag. So, here is the box. This box is actually very pristine, you guys. Look at this, cat eared. This box is pristine. There's a little itty bitty dent right here in the corner. But this box is pristine. The box is not falling apart. It's a pretty hefty box, but it's a nice little box. Cat eared diamond painting. Okay. All right. So there's no other labels on the box. Um, there's Cat Eared Official. Scan me. I don't know how you're going to be able to scan that. There we go. Cat Eared Official. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, so we shall get into it. All right, so it sounds like the macaroon and stuff may be in this end, so I'm going to go ahead and open this end first. But this box is pristine, you guys. Okay, so looking in, you can see. All right. So the first, ooh, it's a purple one. I got a purple macaroon. This is my first ever macaroon, you guys. So... This is the wax. Look at that. Look at that. That's actually really kind of cool. That they put it in the lid and not in the in this container. So it's in the lid. And that's pretty cool. Does it have... I don't have another diamond painting pen, but I don't know if it has a cover on it. But that is really cool. That is some nice looking wax in there, you guys. Um, in the camera, it kind of looks more orange. But that's really cool. I now have a macaroon for my diamond painting wax. Um, that's pretty cool. And I got a lavender one, which is pretty much right up my alley. I like lavender. So that's really cool. I will set that there. Let's see what else comes out. Ooh, you guys. Wow. Okay. So... <laughs> Their kit, they don't have a kit in here, all right? So I will pull this out and set that off to the side. So there is nothing else in the box. I will put the box off to the side. So you guys, <laughs> this is my acrylic diamond painted. Look at that beautiful stuff. Oh my God, look how beautiful that is, you guys. Oh my God, this is my first diamond painting um, acrylic pen has a nice weight behind it, and I think I might actually be using this now. Look at look how beautiful that is, you guys. Holy moly, that is beautiful. So the pen comes with a single placer tip. There's a single placer tip. And it also comes, it looks like with a three or four placer tip on the other end. Um, it looks like you might be able to pull this out. I'm not gonna try. But this is a gorgeous pen. This is my first acrylic pen, you guys. Look how gorgeous that is. That is just absolutely gorgeous. The, the pens, the acrylic pens in these kits are random. I think this just, these two things right here, the macaroon and the acrylic pen, kind of just made this diamond painting for me, you guys. This is my first ever acrylic pen. And I think I'm going to like this a lot. I think I'm going to love this, actually. That is going to be amazing, you guys. 
Can't wait. All right, so you also get a basic white tray um, with the ridges and everything, and it has a boat. This is the MOSFA tray. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It says MOSFA under it. Um, it looks like it might actually be double-sided. I could be wrong, but it has ridges on this side as well. I'm not sure what those could be used for, but maybe it's uh, those are for bigger drills. I don't know. This side isn't as deep as this side, and it also doesn't have the funnel spout, but anyway, it's the MOSFET tray, so that's pretty cool. And then here are the drills. So the drills come packaged in baggies, so it's uh, packaged by weight, and this is a square. You guys, I got a square diamond painting. Can you see that? It's a square diamond painting. So I am going to dig out my sheet really quick. So I got a square diamond painting. That's actually really kind of cool. Um, I can't remember if Crafting with Anne, if hers was a square or not. But uh, there's some really pretty colors in here, you guys. So as I said, the um, diamonds are packaged in baggies. And it looks like they might have the um, DMC numbers on them. So here is the inventory number for the diamond painting right there. Um, if it'll focus, MY01. It's a 20 by 25. So now we know either the canvas size or the diamond painting size. It's 20 by 25. Okay, so it's a pretty small one. Hopefully it has enough detail in it, but it's square. And square diamond paintings tend to have um, better detail in them than rounds. So we will take a look at the diamonds. So I don't know if this is necessarily in any kind of specific order, but like we have color 304, which is a red. This is DMC 304. We have some 310s. Here's some 310s. It looks to me like the drills are pretty, um, pretty standard. They're pretty standard in size. The blacks, there's no, I can't see any dirt or any residue and it doesn't look like the drills are oily or have any kind of residue on them. And there is no uh, debris or trash in here. And looking at the drills, all the drills look very uniform, very flat. So I think the drill quality on these is gonna be really nice. So this is color 318. Um, and I believe there's a little weight measurement down there. This is 1.84 A. I believe that's the weight. Um, here's 350, which is kind of a red orange. 355, which is a deeper red orange. 500, which 500 in um, embroidery floss is uh, um, kind of a deep green. A deep green yeah there may be a little static in these bags but um, everything looks okay so it's color 500 this is color 550 which is a purple really pretty co color we have 3721 which is another brick kind of a deep brick red we have a really pretty pink 3607 um, these just have the DMC numbers on them there's no uh, symbol on the label and it looks like just the weight is in on here um, we have 3750 which is kind of a deep deep blue uh, 3756 which is either a mint or an off-white 3756 3779 which is kind of a peach or like a dark flesh color 902 844, 825, we have a hitchhiker in here, you guys, a little hitchhiker in there, a little red, 825, which is a blue, 838, which is a brown, 828, 823, excuse me, which is a deep, dark blue, 807, which is a really pretty turquoise, 
729, which is kind of a caramel color. 729. 720, which is kind of a, another red orange shade. 606, which is kind of a deep red orange. 598, which is a light sky blue. And 562, which is kind of a, I don't know, smoky green. 562. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so it, shit, got my paper wet. It's a 23 color, number of colors, 23. 23. Okay. And I said this was a what? A 20, 20 by 25. Canvas size. I'm going to put 20 by 25 as the canvas size here, and then we will get into the actual diamond painting. So with these mystery diamond paintings, you guys, the ones that I've opened so far, they're not going to have a thumbnail on it like this one here. So the thumbnail on these mystery diamond paintings are going to show you a big question mark. You're not going to know what you're diamond painting until you actually get into the diamond painting itself. So as you can see here, the canvas is printed in black and white symbols. Okay, and this one is square, so it's gonna have the grid on it, see there? But it's in black and white symbols. This one looks to have symbols, numbers, and letters. <coughs> it has the cat-eared logo at the top, and you can see here it has the one schematic on the um, upper right-hand side. And it looks like it has a second schematic on the lower left. So this is my diamond painting right here. I'm not going to be able to kind of tell what it is. I can kind of tell to a degree what it might be just by looking at it. So I'm going to actually roll it this other way. Um, this is a poured glue. You can tell because it has the clear has the clear cover on it. And I'm going to lift this up. Hmm. Okay, maybe. Okay. All right. So we have the cat eared diamond painting kit. Here, this is cute. This won't take any time at all. This is called a snack size diamond painting. This is pretty small. So we will get this to flatten out for you. And I can kind of tell just by looking at it because I'm a cross stitcher. And I'm used to reading um, monochromatic um, cross stitch patterns. I can kind of tell what the scenery on this is going to be. It looks like it's some sort of like street scene in the rain. Um, I don't know if all the diamond paintings are going to be the same from this company, all the mystery diamond paintings. Um, but they have the um, information here, facebook.com slash cat eared and instagram.com cat eared official. So... I will bring this closer so you can see the Facebook and Instagram information. As my camera tries to focus. Okay. So we have this little diamond painting. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be a quick, a quick one to do, I think. Um, so we know we have 23 bags of colors. I wrote that down. 
So we, are, we will double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 colors. All right. So I'm going to use my little Sharpie pen right here. I'm just going to mark. Um, I'm actually going to use this Sharpie, but I'm going to kind of mark, cross off the colors on here as I go along. So we have 304. And I am marking on the um, cover of the canvas, just so we have it. 310. Three eighteen, three fifty, three fifty five, five hundred, five fifty, we have nine oh two. 3721, 3607, we have 3750, we have 3776, we have 3779, we have 844, we have 838 we have 823 807 729 720 606 598 and 562 okay this back on, put that back away. So you can see here that looking at the inventory sheet, we have all the colors. There's 23 colors. Okay. Yep. This is this is a nice little diamond painting, you guys. This is gonna be really cute. I'm kind of excited for this, actually. Let me get the diamonds kind of back in. I'm not gonna put them in uh, baggy baggy number order as of yet. Um, I will do that when I get ready to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, bear with me just a minute while I get these kind of in some sort of nice little pile. Um, all of the drills actually look really nice, you guys. I'm not seeing any debris or anything in these packets of drills. I'm not seeing any oil. I'm not seeing any residue. And they all look pretty uniform in um, in size. I'm actually really happy that this mystery diamond painting is in, is in squares. Because the other two mystery diamond paintings that I've gotten so far have been rounds. I don't mind rounds. I'm, I just prefer squares um, just because that's my nature. So we have all the drills back in the bag. Okay. And because the drills are labeled, I know the mystery painting. So um, I don't know, I don't know if these drills will get separated. So I'm actually gonna write the same code that's on the drill thing in here on the um, cover of my canvas. So this is uh M Y O one twenty by twenty five. Um, received eight four twenty. Okay. So I don't normally label my uh, things like this, but anyway, so we will look take a look at the drill field really quick. Okay. It is super sticky. 
the drill field is super sticky and it doesn't look like the glue goes very far beyond the um, the drill area. The glue is right up close against the um, the drill area. There's no not much um, overlap in this. Let's check down here. Yep. So basically, on this on this diamond painting, this is this is really nice, actually, you guys. Um, the um, the glue does not go very far at all beyond the diamond the drill area. Okay. And it is the plastic canvas. As you can see, the, pla the canvas is very nice, very pristine. There's no rivers or bubbles in the glue. Everything looks really pristine on this, you guys. Um, this is kind of exciting. I'm looking forward to doing this now. I kind of can see the image. I don't know if you're, you'll are you be able to see it, but I can kind of pick it out, especially looking through the camera. Um, I do know there's a tree right here. And it looks like this is maybe where the landscape ends. And this is the reflection part down here. I don't know if you can see this. Is, so it looks like it's going to be some sort of street scene with maybe a street lamp. I don't know if this is a street lamp or not. This might be a street lamp right here. Um, but there's a trees. These are trees. And there's some probably other trees in the background. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Um, these colors are pretty interesting. There's not there's no yellows. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of um, diamond painting this turns out to be. I'm probably going to do another time lapse video with these. I think these mystery diamond paintings work pretty well in a time lapse. Hopefully this one won't go nearly as long as the one that I'm working on with the truck. But um, anyway, it looks like everything's pretty good on this. So one last thing I need to do. So this came as a 20 by 25 based on the label on the drills. So I am actually going to measure for you. All right. So they did cut this canvas a little larger. So you'll see this blue outline. That's normally where the canvas cut is supposed to be. So I'm going to measure blue line to blue line. Okay. So that is 28.8 centimeters, blue line to blue line. So it's about, the actual canvas is 29.1. So we'll just call that 29 by blue line to blue line, 23 and a half. 23.9 so 24 by 29 so this is a the canvas so the canvas so we're gonna exit this out the canvas is 24 by 29 so I'm guessing the drill area is actually 20 by 25 so we will go here the drill area is 24.9 the 25 is actually right at the edge of the um legend or the schematic um so it is 20 by 25 this is the drill area 20 by 25 um it's actually 19.7 by 20 so 19.7 is the drill area 19.7 by 20 19.7 by 25. I'll double check that. Yep. Okay, 24.9. I'm going to put 24.9. Okay. So it's not quite 20 by 25. Um, but it does have 23 colors. The colors all here. Um, the canvas quality is pristine. The um, adhesive quality is very tacky. The symbol quality is bold and clear with grid. The drill quality is very clean. Um, Uh, very clean. No debris. 
no oil um, consistent size Um, the condition when received, outer box, outer box was pristine. Uh, the canvas quality is pristine, no bubbles, rivers. Okay. Amazon also on Etsy. Now, like I said, um, there, this listing on Amazon said that this one was, um, no longer available or currently not available. Um, but on Etsy, the Etsy website said that it is, it is available. And, um, so if you order it from Etsy, I am not a hundred percent sure if you will get the same diamond painting that I got. Um, so anyway, they don't give you the size. They just said that the diamond painting size will be random. So I don't know if you'll also get a random picture. I'm not sure if I would order another one. I might, but my, um, I might try the Etsy shop just to see if I can get a different, um, different macaroon and a different acrylic pen. Maybe give one, give the other acrylic pen to my mom. This acrylic pen is beauteous, you guys. Look at that. It's beauteous. And it's nice weight. It's not cracked. I can't feel a seam in the acrylic pen. This is going to be nice. This is my first acrylic pen. So I think this right here just kind of made it worth it. I'm actually very surprised and very happy with the quality of this and how well it looks. The canvas is, um, the symbols. I will bring this up close and show you. The symbols are very clear. Well, you're not going to see the clarity if it won't focus, but the symbols are very clear. They're kind of in a bold print. And you can see the grid. There we go. You can see the grid. So sorry about that. My uh, camera just kind of locked up. But anyway, you can see the grid. The symbol quality is very clear. There are letters, numbers, and symbols in this chart or in this uh, thing, and you have two schematics. You have one on the lower left and one on the upper right, which will be really easy to use in this canvas because it's it's quite small. Um, but anyway, this is the um, mystery diamond painting from Yo-Yo Craft or Cat Eared on um, Amazon. You can also find this on Etsy. Again, I will put the links in the description box below. But hopefully you've gotten something out of this. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you consider ordering it. I don't have an Amazon affiliate link for this. But um, anyway, so this is going in my stuff to, um, yeah. So anyway, take care. And until next time, keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the mystery diamond painting um from cat eared cat eared diamond painting so this is everything that you get in your kit through this i like the macaroon and i'm excited about the macaroon and i'm really excited about my first diamond painting acrylic pen you guys so um that being said um take care until next time we will keep on keeping on um, see you soon. Bye now. So hi everybody out there in diamond painting land. I was happen, happened to look at the Etsy shop for the Cat Eared Mystery Diamond Painting Kit. And in their, um, Etsy shop, you can request square or round. Um, for the Amazon, it says, um, currently unavailable. They don't know if it'll be back in stock, but... Um, the Amazon listing, I don't believe you are able to determine if it's round or square. Um, 
I think they just send you a random one. I just happen to look out and get a square. Um, but on the Etsy listing for this, you can choose whether or not you get square or round. So that is kind of interesting. Okay. Anyway, just thought I'd add that little tidbit in for you. Again, the links um, to order this diamond painting or to order a similar diamond painting with the um, with the macaroon wax holder and the acrylic drill pen. Look at that. That is just stunning, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep bringing you back to the drill pen. Look at that drill pen. That is amazing. So anyway, this, this kit here is um, available on Etsy. It's not listed as um, out of stock. And uh, anyway... So I will put the link below, the links below to the Amazon listing and the Etsy listing. I'm not sure how long the order will take coming from Etsy, but in Amazon, I ordered it Sunday. I got it today, Tuesday. So it was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, two days, two days shipping from Amazon. Um, anyway, that being said, I hope you guys uh, stay safe, stay healthy, wear your masks, and um, we'll see you soon. Bye. So hi out there in Diamond Painting Land, it's Tina Frazier again. Um, I'm coming to you with a little bit of an update. I was scrolling around looking at different things on um, Facebook and stuff. I went to the facebook.com slash cat eared or cater catered or I don't know how you say the name of the diamond painting company of the mystery diamond painting I just unbagged for you. But there is also a catered community diamond painting group that was apparently just created on Friday um, by the um, diamond painting company. So I'm actually waiting for my, um, I am waiting for my, uh, what is it? Uh, you know, when they, they approve you, my approval for joining the diamond painting group. There's only two members in the group right now. I'm not sure who that would be. And I'm not sure what the posts are, but, um, yeah, so if you go to the facebook.com slash cat eared, C A T E A R E D, um, Facebook page, you can find the Katered, Katered Diamond Painting, Katered Community Diamond Painting Group link on their, um, on their Facebook page. Uh, it's kind of down below, um, like where it says photos, it shows, lists groups. It lists the Cattered Community Diamond Painting Group and just Diamond Painting Now. Um, so there's a couple of different groups listed there. So I requested um, to join the Cattered Community Diamond Painting private group. So hopefully... Hopefully the approval will come through soon, but I'm looking forward to this diamond painting. And um, anyway, uh, I hope you find this information useful and hopefully you can enjoy mystery diamond paintings that, such as that I've had um, experience with. Hopefully you can find the same experience. I'm still just jonesing about the, the macaroon and my first acrylic diamond painting pen. I'm just kind of really happy about this. I did take the wax out of my macaroon. The wax was in the lid. I did put the wax in the base. Um, so my wax does not have any plastic cover on it, but, um, yeah, so I went ahead and took it from the lid. It was originally in the lid. I took it from the lid and put it in the base. Um, just because I think it'll stay better that way. All right. So anyway, that's all I have for you. Again, one last time. Keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. And until next time, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and wear your masks. Thanks a lot. Bye.